Welcome to the Art of Mortgage Marketing Podcast, where you'll learn the secret sauce, what it really takes to build a thriving mortgage business doing what you love, without relying on cold calling or annoying realtors. And now, let's join your host, Doran Aldana. Hey, what's up, everybody? Doran Aldana coming at you with another kick-ass episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing Podcast. And today we're going to talk about the three big reasons why most mortgage pros put up with way too much drama and trauma, put up with being their realtor's proverbial loan bitch, and how to finally get control of your business, get control of your posture, get control of the dynamic in the relationship so that the realtor needs you more than you need them. So you get the respect and the referrals you deserve. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. And, you know, frankly, most people, they think about being in the driver's seat and flipping the script. So the realtor needs them more than they need the realtor. And they kind of think it's like the Loch Ness Monster. You know, you hear about it, you talk about it, but you never see it. Right. (laughs) And that's just because most people are just doing it the hard way. And unfortunately, most people are following the herd and doing it the hard way, doing it the caveman style from the dark ages. And they wonder why it ain't working. Well, this is a new environment. It's a new market. It's a new economy. And we got to keep up with the times. We want you to be cutting edge as opposed to trailing edge and bleeding edge. So the first reason why most mortgage professionals allow themselves and tolerate a situation where they end up being the last resort loan officer, the proverbial loan bitch for the realtors, putting up with all kinds of flack and all kinds of drama and trauma and putting up with calls at 10 o'clock on a Sunday night. And while they're on date night with their spouse, they feel obligated to be answering the phone and answering any overture from these realtors that may or may not be sending quality leads, that may or may not actually be giving them the juice worth the squeeze And they're tolerating this and they're enabling this because they just don't have the right dynamic in the relationship such that they're continuing to allow this ongoing feeling like they're forced to do this. They're forced to answer all these calls on a 10 o'clock or 8 o'clock or 7 o'clock on a whatever night when they want to be connecting with their family. Now, most people in this business will say, This is a 24-7 business. I'm here to tell you that's complete BS. This is whatever you want it to be business. This is a business that you dictate the terms and conditions. So we've got my goal for you is to shine the light of truth in your mind to get you to see that you can have your business any way you want it if you don't settle. And the inspiration behind me doing this podcast today is because just in the last week, I talked to two loan officers back to back that were well-intended, well-meaning, they're ambitious, they're hardworking, they're go-getters, they're like rock stars in the making. And both of these ladies, when I talked to them, the golden thread of complaint that they were bringing to the conversation was, you know, I've got these realtors, but I get no respect. I've got these realtors, but they send me a bunch of chaff and I'm having to dig through a mountain of chaff just to find a few kernels. I'm basically just getting their last resort loans that no one else can resurrect. So they send it to me like I'm the loan resurrector. And and then on top of that, they're saying, you know, I want to be connecting with my spouse in the evening. But instead, I'm having to take all these calls because they're telling me right up front, my loan officer didn't answer the phone. So I decided to call you. What are they implying? They're implying if you don't answer the phone, I'm going to skip over you and give it to your competitor. There's a seed of fear they're planting. There's a fear dynamic where you feel like you're at the mercy of these realtors and you're basically forced to put up with all this drama and trauma and nonsense just because you feel like you need them. We got to put a stop to that, friends. That's not the way it needs to be. In fact, that's the complete ass backwards way it needs to be because the truth is, in order for someone to get a house to buy a house, they need a mortgage. So that transaction is inextricably linked with the necessity for a mortgage. So, in truth, they need you more than you need them, but they don't know that. So, we've got to find a way to thread the needle on shifting the paradigm and shifting that dynamic so they don't just think that. They double down on knowing that they don't just know it, that they actually operate their business from that premise. And 
because it's so mission critical to have a rock star mortgage professional in their corner to ensure that they have control over the quality of the transaction. Because it's so mission critical to walk in their commission and sleep well at night knowing their commission is locked in, they have you in their corner. But it's not just because you provide great rates and great service. It's not just because you deliver five-star first-class service. It's not just because you close loans on time. All that is a minimum expectation. It's because you're going above and beyond the call of duty. You're doing something unique. The first thing I want to share, the first reason why most mortgage professionals are putting up with way too much drama and trauma is because they've been taught the chasing method versus the attracting method. You know, if you look at the landscape of so-called coaches out there in the mortgage space, the lion's share of them are going to get you to do it the ass backwards, cro magnon caveman style method from the dark ages called cold calling the same 40 freaking realtors every Monday. That is caveman style marketing, friends. We're in the 21st freaking century. There's no need to be doing it the caveman style anymore. And yet that's what they're teaching you as cutting edge marketing. And obviously, you know, that's the antithesis of cutting edge. That's like People were doing that 20 years ago. There's no need to be doing that. If you want to build the skyscraper of your success, of your dream, you can't afford to be digging the hole for the foundation with a gardening trowel. That's doing it the hard way. There's something called an excavator. It's a whole lot more productive than a gardening trowel. You know it and I know it. So the chasing method is just cold calling, throwing you over to the fan, hoping something sticks. The chasing method is just, hey, I got great service. I've got great rates. Throw me a bone. The chasing method is making outbound overtures with a lackluster lip and lacking value proposition where you're just another average Joe L.O. There's nothing unique about you because the truth is, if you just provide great rates and great service, that's a minimum expectation just to be in the game, friends. That's nothing compelling and unique. Guess what? These realtors are getting calls every single Monday. we got to find a better way. So do you want to be the annoying pest or do you want to be the welcome guest? Well, that's the no-brainer of the year, right? Become the welcome guest by attracting. So you've got to find a method by which to be able to get them hot for what you got, to get them pre-cooked, pre-tenderized, pre-sold, and predisposed to want to meet with you before you even talk to them. How do you do that? Well, that's precisely why smart, ambitious, growth-minded mortgage professionals hire us at MortgageMarketingCoach.com because we're the most badass on planet Earth at doing exactly that. We have a battle-tested, proven system on doing exactly that. Just stick your key in the ignition and drive away. And it's a process that involves a lot of component parts. So this is not an easy thing to crack the code on. So if you're noticing that it's exceedingly difficult based on your, your own experience to try and reinvent the wheel on this, well, welcome to the club. You and pretty much every other mortgage professional that we work with has found the same experience to be true. And that's why they hire us because they don't have time to be messing around trying to reinvent the wheel. And then you're talking with people who are receptive, who are open, who are engaged, people who are pre-tenderized and receptive to your overture before you even call them. Obviously, a lot more productive, a lot more fun, a lot more fruitful. It's, again, the difference between trying to dig the foundation for your skyscraper with an excavator versus you using the gardening trowel. I don't know about you, having to grind and bust your ass doing it the hard way in the hot beating sun with the gardening trowel is not in a very attractive proposition when you know there's this gleaming, beaming, beautiful, highly productive, highly effective piece of leverage called the excavator at your disposal. I mean, there's no merit badges at the bank for doing it the hard way, right? So why opt for doing it the hard way if you don't need to? Now, the second reason why most mortgage professionals end up being the realtor's loan bitch is because they don't have any exclusive, unique value. Again, it's all tied to being unique. If you're coming across as just another average Joe L.O. loan leech trying to leech loans from them, guess what? You're going to be treated like that. If you're coming across like you're a replaceable cog in the wheel, guess what? You're going to be treated like that. If you're coming across like you just have the same old, same old like everyone else, everyone's got access essentially to the same programs, the same rates. And if it's just about you providing some great service, well, guess what? You're just lumped in among everyone else and you get treated like that replaceable cog in the wheel. And that's why you end up being their loan bitch by default. So you've got to find a way to differentiate, differentiate or die, friends. It's mission critical. No one brings anything even remotely close to the value you bring to the table, not just in terms of excellence for excellence sake when it comes to getting loans done, 
But when it comes to helping them grow their business, working smarter, not harder, closing more deals with less effort, helping them show up and shine on the local search with more five-star reviews than any of their competitors, helping them attract more leads and capture more leads at their open houses and convert more of those leads into closing, helping them get more repeat and referral business on autopilot, helping them systematically generate more referrals, helping them close more deals with less effort. That's the name of the game, friends. Now, obviously, most loan officers don't even get close to that, right? So it doesn't take much of that unique advantage that you bring to the table to separate you from the pack. I often say, in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. It doesn't make much, doesn't take much to separate yourself from the pack. Even with one eye, you have a massive unique value and a massive unique advantage over all the blind, mediocre populace that are bumping up against walls because they can't see. So again, you might feel like you have a ton of competition because that's frankly what it feels like when you're just an average Joe LO from the realtor's perspective. But when you get yourself in that category of one, where you actually have in their eyes, not in your eyes, Obviously, you need to have it in your eyes first because the first sale you'll ever make, the most important sale you'll ever make is yourself. You have to sell yourself on yourself before you'll ever get anyone else to believe in you. You've got to believe in yourself. But once you've got that component nailed and the realtor now has had this transference of your certainty and they feel and know in their heart and mind that you're the bomb freaking diggity, not just because of what you say, but because of the value you deliver. Now it's like all of a sudden they go from just someone who sees you as a replaceable commodity to becoming a brand ambassador. They become a brand ambassador where they're singing your praises from the rooftops, where they're emphatically endorsing you to all their buyers. They're making you their exclusive. And that's why we want to be targeting top producers, because when you have this kind of power at your disposal, when you're wielding this kind of unique, compelling value proposition power, why go after the bottom feeding, whining, silly, complaining, jelly, donut eating low producers that do maybe five deals a year and might send you one deal a year? when you can get the top dogs that are sending you one, two, three deals a month, do the math on that. It doesn't take many of those to stack up some cash in a hurry, right? You're making surgeon money, freedom money, liberate the spouse money in a hurry when you're doing that. So that's the second reason why most mortgage professionals are treated like the proverbial realtor's loan bitch because they do not have that unique value. They don't have a big old stack of awesome that they're bringing that separates them from the pack. And then the third reason, frankly, is just a scarcity mindset, a scarcity mindset where they're trained either collectively or, frankly, just in their own individual consciousness from their own past experience or maybe a combination thereof where they feel like they feel like they have to put up with it. So they take the calls at eight or 10 o'clock on a Sunday night. And they tolerate it. And here's the truth. when Whatever you tolerate, you enable. And what you enable persists. So if you don't have rules of engagement because you don't have a platform to actually demand rules of engagement because you're positioned as just an average Joe LO, guess what? The rules of engagement are not in your hands. They're in the realtor's hands. They dictate the rules of engagement. And they're going to start to now use fear because you are a ready recipient to have fear tow you around by the, you know, the proverbial nose. They're going to start to use that. If you give them an inch, they'll take a mile. So if you tolerate that, you enable it. If you enable it, it persists. And guess what? The default setting is giving your power away to someone else to be a slave, to be a lone bitch to someone else. You might be thinking, but Dorn, there's no other way to do it because my competitors, they're going to take a call any day, 24-7. Well, if that was the truth, if being available 24-7 was the truth, the ultimate truth that had the highest income producing professionals on planet Earth rise to the top, why is it, I must ask you, why is it that the most elite of the elite of income earners as doctors, as financial planners, as 
other respective professionals, whether it be lawyers or accountants and so on? Why is it that the elite of the elite are actually hardest to get a hold of? You can't just get off on the phone with them anytime you want. You can't just get on the phone and get get with them just because you feel like it. You got to get in freaking line. You got to get on the waiting list. So why would that be the case for everyone else but not you? See, it's a paradigm, friends, and it's a paradigm that is steeped in fear and scarcity. It's the mind of mediocrity that you've got to dig yourself out of and replace with an abundance paradigm, a paradigm that is based on a presupposition that you can have it any way you want it if you don't settle. That's worth writing down, friends. I can have it any way I want it if I don't settle. You see, you can actually have a business. Imagine this for a moment. You can have a business where you have five to 10 rock star, cool cat realtors that you just love hanging with. You love growing your business with. They're the kind of cool cats you would have at your summer barbecue. They're the kind of cool cats that you would have to come to your house on your birthday. They're the kind of cool cats that you want in your life because you love and adore them and they love and adore you. They love what you bring to the table because you bring positive energy, proactivity, and you are a light in the darkness for them. You help to elevate them. You help them because you are a leader who leads yourself first with excellence. And by virtue of that, you inspire them to greatness. You inspire them to live their best life. So through your leadership, starting with leading yourself, you are showing up like a champion. And champions always want to roll with champions. Eagles always want to soar with eagles. They don't want to be scratching around in the chicken yard with the chickens. They want to be soaring with eagles. So when you start showing up like an eagle and you show up with your eagle ways with a multitude of different aspects and tools and arsenals to help them unleash awesome in their life and in their business, what happens is all of a sudden now you step into the realm of abundance. You're no longer coming into the ocean of scarcity with a freaking thimble. That's ridiculous, right? An ocean of abundance, and you're coming to it with a thimble. No, now you're coming to it with a freaking dump truck. Now you're coming to it ready to scoop up all the good stuff and to step into abundance where there's just an ocean of abundance ready to be had and received, and now you're swimming in it. There's no fear of scarcity or lack, and now you can fire and replace anyone you want. Someone doesn't jive with you anymore. Someone's not in your energetic frequency anymore, someone's not respecting your rules of engagement, you simply fire them and replace them. Simple as that. So how do you get into that kind of power position? I'll tell you how. It's called having a kick-ass value proposition that allows you to flip the script so the realtor needs you more than you need them. How do you do that? Well, that's precisely why people hire us at MortgageMarketingCoach.com. So if you're listening to this, watching this right now, you're like, Dorn, I'm, putting, I'm, I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'm loving what you're saying. But again, it kind of feels like this is all the Loch Ness Monster, right? You hear about it, you talk about it, you never see it. It sounds great, but how do I actually create this in my business? How do I get this kind of power, this kind of unique, massive value? How do I stop being a proverbial lone bitch to these realtors and make them my bitch, so to speak? I'm not talking about being disrespectful to people. I use this language as a way to get your attention. I'm all about service. I'm all about being light in the darkness. So those of you who know who I am and what I'm about, I'm not being rude here or, you know, putting people under your feet like you're better than them or living from arrogance. This is about being in the power position where you hold the cookie, where you're in control, where you're in the driver's seat. That's really what this is about. So if you're in that position, you want to take your business to the next level. What I invite you to do, if you're on 100% commission, you're making 80 basis points or higher and you want to add an extra 100, 200, 300, $500,000 plus per year to your annual income, working smarter, not just harder, and you want to be able to do that systematically. You want to be able to do it where you're getting better quality leads more often from better quality partners with way less drama and trauma, way more fun, flow, and fulfillment and freedom. If that's you, then I invite you to book a breakthrough call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com where we'll lift up the hood on your business. We'll look at what's working, what's not working, where you're at now in your business, where you want to take it. If we can take your business to that next level, we'll show you what that looks like. If not, we'll be the first to advise you to pass on our services. But either way, you'll leave that meeting with massive value, massive clarity, and chances are we'll have some fun. So if that sounds worthwhile and meaningful to you, go ahead and book a call, mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. 
My name is Doran Aldana. We've been talking today about the three reasons why most mortgage professionals unwittingly are tolerating way too much drama and trauma, putting up with being their realtor's proverbial loan bitch, and how to reverse the tides, how to take the power back, and have life and your business on your terms. So thanks for watching. We're going to come right back at you with another kick-ass episode next week. So stay tuned. If you're digging at what I'm putting down and you want more of this good stuff that we got in store, go ahead and give us a five-star review as well on Apple or anywhere else that we have our podcast listed. Be blessed, y'all. We'll see you on the next episode. Peace, y'all.